DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that contains the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms and many viruses. It is a long, double-stranded helix structure composed of nucleotides. The structure of DNA consists of two strands that are twisted together in a spiral shape, forming a double helix. Each strand is made up of a series of nucleotides, which are composed of three components, a sugar molecule, deoxyribose, a phosphate group, and one of four nitrogenous bases adenine, A, cytosine, C, guanine, G, or thymine, T. The two strands of DNA are held together by hydrogen bonds between complementary base pairs, adenine with thymine, and cytosine with guanine. The sequence of nucleotides in a DNA molecule contains the genetic information that determines the characteristics and traits of an organism. This information is encoded in the specific arrangement of the four nitrogenous bases along the DNA molecule. Genes are segments of DNA that contain instructions for producing proteins, which are essential for the structure and function of cells. DNA replication is the process by which DNA is copied during cell division. It ensures that each new cell receives an identical set of genetic information. DNA also undergoes processes such as transcription and translation to convert the genetic information into functional proteins. The discovery of the structure of DNA is credited to James Watson and Francis Crick, along with contributions from Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins. Their work, published in 1953, established the double helix structure of DNA, which has since become a cornerstone of modern biology and genetics. Junk DNA is a term that was historically used to refer to non-coding regions of DNA that were thought to have no functional purpose. These regions do not code for proteins or have known regulatory functions. However, the term junk DNA is now considered outdated and misleading because research has shown that many non-coding regions of DNA have important biological roles. It is now understood that the non-coding regions of DNA, which constitute a significant portion of the genome in many organisms, serve various functions. Some non-coding DNA regions have regulatory functions, controlling the expression of genes and playing a role in the intricate network of gene regulation. They can contain regulatory elements such as enhancers or promoters that influence gene activity. Other non-coding regions have structural roles, contributing to the three-dimensional organization of the genome. They help in maintaining the stability and integrity of chromosomes and can influence how genes are packaged and interact with each other. Additionally, non-coding DNA can contain repetitive sequences, which are short DNA sequences that are repeated multiple times in the genome. While some repetitive sequences have been associated with genetic disorders, others play roles in chromosome stability or have regulatory functions. Scientists are continually studying non-coding regions of DNA to understand their functions and how they contribute to the complexity of living organisms. The term junk DNA is no longer widely used because it oversimplifies the complexity and potential functionality of these regions. Junk DNA, or non-coding DNA, is found in various forms of life, including but not limited to humans. The human genome is estimated to have a large portion of non-coding DNA which includes regions that do not code for proteins. Other animals, non-coding DNA is present in the genomes of other animals, including mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and insects. The proportion of non-coding DNA can vary among different species. Plants, plant genomes also contain non-coding DNA, which can include regulatory elements, repetitive sequences, and other non-coding regions. Bacteria and archaea Although the genomes of bacteria and archaea are generally smaller and more compact compared to eukaryotic organisms, they can still have non-coding DNA regions, such as intergenic regions and regulatory elements. Viruses, some viruses, such as bacteriophages, can have non-coding DNA regions within their genomes. It's worth noting that the amount and types of non-coding DNA can vary greatly between different organisms. Additionally, the functions and significance of non-coding DNA regions may differ across species, and ongoing research is aimed at unraveling their roles and potential importance in various biological processes. Non-coding RNA, NCRNA, refers to RNA molecules that are transcribed from non-coding regions of DNA and do not code for proteins. 
while the majority of RNA molecules are involved in protein synthesis, messenger RNA or mRNA, non-coding RNAs have diverse functions and play important roles in various cellular processes. Here are some types of non-coding RNAs and their functions. Transfer RNA, tRNA tRNAs are essential for protein synthesis. They serve as adapters between mRNA and amino acids, ensuring that the correct amino acids are incorporated into the growing protein chain during translation. Ribosomal RNA, rRNA rRNAs are major components of ribosomes, the cellular structures responsible for protein synthesis. They provide structural support and catalytic activity necessary for the translation process. Small nuclear RNA, SNRNA SNRNAs are involved in pre-mRNA splicing, a process where introns are removed and exons are joined together to generate the mature mRNA SNRNAs combine with proteins to form small nuclear ribonucleoprotein particles, SNRNPS, that recognize specific splice sites and facilitate the splicing reactions. MICR ORNA Myrna myrnas are small RNA molecules that regulate gene expression by binding to messenger RNAs, myrnas. This binding can lead to degradation of the target mRNA or inhibition of its translation, thereby controlling the amount of protein produced from that mRNA. Long non-coding RNA, LNCRNA LNCRNAs are longer RNA molecules that do not code for proteins. They have diverse functions, including regulation of gene expression, chromatin remodeling, and organization of nuclear structures. Some LNCRNAs act as scaffolds or guides that bring together proteins and other molecules involved in various cellular processes. Small interfering RNA, CERNA, and short hairpin RNA, SHRNA These small RNA molecules are involved in RNA interference, RNAi, a process that regulates gene expression by specifically degrading target mRNA molecules CERNAs and SHRNAs can be artificially introduced into cells to silence specific genes for research or therapeutic purposes. The discovery and understanding of non-coding RNAs have expanded our knowledge of gene regulation and cellular processes. They have revealed the intricate complexity of gene expression beyond the traditional protein coding genes and continue to be a fascinating area of research in molecular biology. Genetic genealogy refers to the use of DNA testing to uncover and infer relationships among individuals for genealogical purposes. It utilizes the information encoded in an individual's DNA to trace their ancestry, identify relatives, and build family trees. There are several types of DNA tests commonly used in genetic genealogy. Autosomal DNA testing Autosomal DNA tests examine the DNA inherited from both parents and are widely used for genealogical purposes. They provide information about recent ancestry within a few generations and can identify relatives across both paternal and maternal lines. Autosomal DNA tests can estimate the percentage of shared DNA between individuals which is used to determine the degree of relatedness. Y-DNA testing, Y-DNA tests analyze the DNA found in the Y chromosome, which is passed down exclusively from father to son. This type of test is primarily used to investigate paternal ancestry and trace the direct paternal line, providing information about surname lineages and deep ancestral origins. Y-DNA testing is particularly useful for surname projects and tracing male line descendants. Mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, testing, mtDNA tests analyze the DNA found in the mitochondria, which is inherited from the mother to all her children, regardless of gender. mtDNA testing is utilized to trace the direct maternal lineages and provides insights into ancient maternal ancestry. It can identify common maternal lineages and determine the geographic origins of maternal ancestors. xDNA testing X-DNA tests examine the DNA found on the X chromosome, which has unique inheritance patterns. X-DNA testing is often used in conjunction with autosomal DNA testing and can provide additional information about specific ancestral connections, especially along the direct maternal and direct paternal lines. By comparing DNA test results from individuals and identifying shared segments of DNA, Genetic genealogists can determine the degree of relatedness and infer relationships between individuals. This information can be used to connect with relatives, explore family history, verify or challenge existing genealogical research, and uncover unknown or hidden branches of the family tree.
It is important to note that genetic genealogy relies on databases and matches with other individuals who have also taken DNA tests. The accuracy and depth of the results depend on the size and diversity of these databases, as well as the ability to contact and collaborate with potential relatives. The DNA of humans is composed of the same fundamental building blocks and follows the same genetic code as all other known life on Earth. Humans share a common ancestry with other organisms and belong to the domain of life known as Eukarya. The genetic material of all living organisms on Earth is based on DNA, which is made up of nucleotides and contains the same four nitrogenous bases adenine, A, cytosine, C, guanine, G, and thymine, T. These bases form the genetic code that determines the characteristics and traits of an organism. While the existence of extraterrestrial life is a topic of scientific inquiry and speculation, there is currently no credible scientific evidence to suggest that humans or any other organisms on Earth have DNA originating from alien sources.